Hi, I'm Neville Liv, and welcome to Living With AI. I love that we're all living in a sci-fi movie. AI is advancing so quickly, concepts that used to be fantasy now seem right at our doorstep, like artificial general intelligence, AGI, or even superhuman intelligence. But like any movie, there needs to be some drama, and we're facing it with what some are calling the great AI pause, or at least an attempt at one. Recently, an open letter by a number of key figures in tech, like Elon Musk and Apple co-founder Steve Wozniak, was shared asking for at least a six-month pause on training systems more powerful than OpenAI's GPT-4. The idea is to allow a little breathing room for society to make at least some progress on setting up regulation, rules, security, and economic protections around AI. It's important to know Elon's history with OpenAI. He has long been concerned with the negative consequences of a powerful AI. He was actually one of the co-founders of OpenAI when it was set up as a nonprofit, with the mission that included not being influenced by external investments, like from major corporations. Sam Altman, another co-founder and the current CEO, realized shortly after OpenAI was founded that to work on AI, they were going to need a lot of processing power, which meant they needed a lot of money, which meant external investments. Sam and Elon didn't see eye to eye on that, so Elon and OpenAI parted ways. At around the same time, other OpenAI employees broke off to form Anthropic, another major AI player with a greater focus on AI ethics, and received a $300 million investment from Google. OpenAI created their for-profit arm and has since taken well over $10 billion from Microsoft. Elon continues to develop AI as part of Tesla to improve self-driving technologies, but also as part of Tesla's robot, Optimus. Now, through this open letter, Elon and many others are asking everyone, including OpenAI, to put the brakes on development for a bit. Is this great pause going to happen? Many say there's an AI race between the US and China. It's not likely China's going to pause their development, so should the US? I wouldn't bet on it happening. In other AI backlash news, Italy has banned ChatGPT over data privacy concerns, and there's talk of more Western countries lining up to follow. So is AI going to change everything about society, whether making it a dystopia or utopia? Or is it all hype and nothing will really change? In an important interview with Sam Altman, at this point all his interviews should be considered important, he brought up the case of IBM supercomputer Deep Blue beating the best chess player at the time, Garry Kasparov. After Kasparov lost, he said that if a computer could beat him in chess, the game of chess was over. And it made sense at the time, why would anyone play anymore? What's the point if a computer can always beat a human? Well, that was 30 years ago, and chess between humans is arguably more popular than ever these days. But don't think Sam is trying to downplay AI. In the same interview, he shares that it's just as likely that AI will be an existential threat. Warning, this may be scary to some, but Sam Ullman wrote in a 2015 blog post that he thinks that superhuman machine intelligence is one of his top four favorite reasons for the Fermi Paradox. Quick explanation on the Fermi Paradox. It's the puzzling contradiction that with a universe with trillions of stars that's been around for billions of years, how have other alien species not reached out to us yet? Sam's reason on this was that biological intelligence always eventually creates machine intelligence, which wipes out biological life and then for some reason decides to make itself undetectable. Sam continues to state that he wants to release an increasingly powerful AI to the world now, and eventually AGI, while the stakes are still low. He's not trying to take over the world with AI. I get the sense he knows AGI is inevitable, and he's trying to save humanity from, or even with it. With all this concern about AI, AGI, and super intelligence, there may be a lesson we can take from Y2K, which older generations can tell you about. It stood for the year 2000, when many believed that all technologies and systems globally were at a high risk of collapsing when the year 1999 ended, since a lot of systems were not designed to support the one at the start of the year, flipping to a two. A lot of people worked hard to update systems while others prepared for a potential apocalypse. On New Year's Day 2000, everything was fine and it was as if nothing changed. Was it hype, effective preparation, or a lot of both? The lesson may be that hype might just nudge a little or a lot more preparation and that may be what we need for this coming era of AI. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, hit the like button and subscribe to stay tuned for more info about living with AI.